guys, Alexandra here again. Today we're having a look at vid.io, which is a tool you can use to create videos with subtitles, emojis, and other fun elements. From the features I've seen, you can mostly use it to create social media videos for TikTok, for example, or Instagram stories. Now, to get started, all you have to do is click on New Project and you will upload your own video. Now, I have simply added this video because it was one of the smallest file sizes I needed. You will need to get a paid plan if you want to upload a video that's larger than 50 megabytes. And of course, the paid plans will also guarantee no watermarks and a higher video quality overall. Now, just for a quick overlook at the workspace, you can always edit your canvas size from here. For instance, if you want to turn this into a Facebook cover, you can do so by clicking on the option and then click on the video and you'll just be able to move it around or just leave some empty space on a certain side of the video. Now, I'm keeping it this way with the road in my way. Of course, you can also change the background color again if you want some space at the top or something like that. If you make this smaller, you can also use the background as a frame for your video. Then you have the options to fill frame, fit frame, and just moving it the way I want the video to be placed. You've also got options on the volume if you have sound to the video then you've got some duration settings you can always replace the video or just clean the audio if you play the video you will also notice here a trim option which literally helps you make the video shorter or longer depending on your own needs then the most important part of this tool is your option to add subtitles if you were for example to go with a story instead of the Facebook cover I showed you or have a vertical video here you would be able to add auto subtitles upload your own or just go with the manual subtitles and you can move these wherever you want them to be placed work with when you want them to start and end then maybe add in some more subtitles after you then have a few styles you can choose from and you might already have seen this yellow one so many times before and you've wondered how to add that to your own videos. Of course, you can work here with the size of the text, smaller, larger, the font, centering it or not, and even colors. I'm just going to go with this blue one for now because Honestly, you haven't seen this color for a subtitle anywhere before. You can also work with its opacity and you have a bunch of other options to translate the subtitles or download them separately. And from here, I'm going to just add in some text so you can see how this works. I will also add another subtitle for three seconds after this first one. Of course, you can also use it just to add some captions to your videos as well. And the video is supposed to look something like this. Then you have a bunch of other options for adding text, for instance, such as testing this feature. Again, you can decide where and for how long you want this to be displayed. For example, you can use this just as a watermark. Let's just add in my name here, make it smaller maybe edit it a bit I'm just moving it here and if you're going to play the video it's always going to be in the corner there and of course similarly you can add in your own image and I'll just be adding a quick photo of me to show you how the tool works the same way you can obviously use this to maybe place your logo in the corner then you have a bunch of other elements which I honestly love especially the emojis again you can just add them and of course when you play the video they will always be there there's also shapes this sound wave option and this progress bar which is my favorite you can obviously shape it in different ways change its color depending on what your own needs are make it like this 
Honestly, I would see this maybe when you ask a question and you're giving people like five seconds or 10 to think about the answer. Or similarly for a quiz or if you want to add in a quick ad, anything like this. Now, after this, you also have quick filters you can add to your videos to just change them overall, make the video black and white, which I like, but if you pay attention, the subtitles are going to remain the same way, so the filter only applies to the video. Then you can obviously just adjust the brightness, the contrast, just work with the video the way you want it to be, or just add some effects at the end. And of course you've got your audio settings and an opportunity for you to work with the speed of the video and just tailor it to your exact needs. Or you can just draw on this yourself by clicking on add new layer first and you're just going to draw anything you want. For instance, I'm selecting this yellow and making a heart or something like that. And honestly, this is all. Again, it's all very simple to use. Even after you've finished your design, in this case the video, you can just go on and change it into a different format. And all of your uh, settings will be kept. You just have to edit the positioning of it. If you have any questions, just let me know. You can check the tool in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe and have a wonderful day.